Class, we have to move beyond the standard way of doing things, beyond the obvious questions, the obvious answers. We must ask how to cross the road and answer how all of us can do it. Like I was saying, stairs up to a bridge over the top. That way you just run right up and over. Easy, problem solved. I'm not a huge fan of stairs. Maybe one stair, not two, definitely not three. How about we dig a tunnel under the road so we can slide under? Hmm, seems like kind of a tight fit. Eh, I don't think flying underground is a thing. How about we fly across a good old fashioned crosswalk? Fly? fly? Remember, class, we need to think inclusively. We want to design solutions not just for ourselves, but solutions that work for many individuals. Individuals in all kinds of situations. Wait, isn't that a lot of extra work? We're trying to be everything without being anything? Inclusive design simply offers a more expansive perspective and approach to creating solutions. And when inclusive design is at the core, an experience can have mainstream appeal, like the captions you use to watch videos on your phone in class, and the flexible straws so you don't dribble juice all over my tablet, or the curb cuts that started for wheelchair usage and are now important for everyone, from cyclists to parents pushing strollers. And class, inclusive design is essential from mobility to education to technology. Microsoft is using inclusive design throughout the company to create products that empower individuals to achieve more, like the Xbox Adaptive Controller, so that everyone can game in the way that works best for them, or the Accessibility Checker that ensures digital content can be enjoyed by people who are blind, deaf, use wheelchairs, for basically everyone. And they want to help others implement inclusive design, too. So they've shared lots of training materials and even an inclusive design toolkit. <laughs> Short, feathery creature wearing glasses. Hey, Mr. Chicken, thanks for this. What are you up to now? Me? I don't know. Crossing? But why? 